Greetings, this is Jeff Johnson, creator of Weathermaker. I've been hard at work uh, getting multiple camera support working. I think I've got a pretty good solution. I'd like to demo it now for you. I'm going to go ahead and play this scene I've got going on here. It has two cameras. The camera on the right is the one that's the primary camera. And I'll show you where that lives. On Weathermaker Prefab, I have the camera property that you're familiar with, but we also have a new cameras array for any additional cameras. And I have created an array of size 1 to add the second camera, the main camera static. It doesn't move at all in this demo, but appears on the left side so that you can see weather effects, sky sphere, etc. on both cameras. The other nice the other nice thing about this is that the sky sphere will follow all the cameras. I'll show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and go to the configuration script and turn my speed up really high so that I can get far away. And you'll notice that I'm flying through the clouds, but the sky sphere on the left is still rendering around that camera as is. So it looks really nice. You can see a moon there sneaking in on the bottom, but so the sky sphere will recenter itself around each camera and that's really handy as well. So let's get started by creating some clouds. You can see that they render in both cameras. The camera on the right can move around. You can see kind of in the le other left side you can see me moving around there. I'm a capsule. Uh, so the clouds render in both seamlessly and separately. Let's add some rain here. Rain also renders in both cameras. I'll go ahead and turn that volume down just a little bit on that. Uh, just in case you think that the rain is showing up from the primary camera and the secondary camera, I'll move really far away. You can see that the rain continues to fall on that left camera just fine. I'm going to go ahead and come back. Okay, so the second thing is you have uh, all those types of precipitation. Uh, snow was a, a little bit of a tricky one because the snow flakes render in world space, but I was able to get those working as well. And those also fall on both cameras. And so that looks really nice. You, you notice that the snow doesn't move with the camera like the rain or the other precipitation does. It's uh, it, Once the particles emit it, it stays in world space. And that makes it nice as you run through the snow. It looks realistic. So that's really good. Uh, the lightning will always uh, be relative to the main camera. Um, I have not added a way for it to choose a second camera. I think this is probably fine because as long as your cameras are somewhat close to each other, both cameras are going to, or all the cameras will be able to see the lightning because it's fairly far away. Uh, the fog also works in multiple cameras, so let's add some fog. Um, I will change the fog height to something smaller, so you can see it working on the left side here. If we go to that static camera and raise him up a little bit, you can see that the fog also renders separately and looks great. So basically all the effects render on all cameras as long as you, on the Weathermaker script, add any additional cameras that you want to have the sky sphere and precipitation render on into this array here. Now if your cameras are really far apart, like in separate parts of the world, you may want to come up with a different solution but for cameras that are in a general vicinity of each other I think this solution will work excellently and uh, please let me know if you have any questions you're always welcome to email support at digitalruby.com if you have questions I'd love to get your feedback on this thanks so much for watching have a great day